ABC 7 business commentator Richard Stern joins us now with a look at the day on Wall Street and down arrows, Richard, across the board today. Red arrows, can you believe it? Yeah. I'm sitting next to you. you that's been a long time. I know, I know. For, for nice our long time you viewers, used to be you up here all the time. Yeah. Exactly, but uh, <laughs> you're absolutely right, Scott. It was a down day, but I have to tell you, uh, not by any means was it a terrible day. It was actually the worst day for the Dow all year, the worst day since December 29th. That being said, we didn't even lose 100 points. We were down by 160 points at the low of the day, rallied near the close and finished with down arrows, but no big damage. Let's take a look at the numbers. There you see the Dow down 98 points, not quite four tenths of 1%, 26,017.81. That on volume of 771 million shares. The NASDAQ, a red arrow, but barely down two and a quarter points, three one hundredths of 1%. At 7,296.05, then on volume of 1,699,000,000 shares. The S&P down as well, 4.5 points, 16 one hundredths of 1 percent, at 2,798.03. Well, our friends at Wells Fargo have had problems, problems, and now they have more problems. PR problems had been the case with unfortunate customer cases of accounts that really weren't accounts, problems with employees, and guess what? Today, they double paid all of their online payments. Exactly right. If you had an online check written or electronically done from Wells Fargo for 100 bucks, what did they do? They paid it, and then they paid it again. Absolutely. Many clients received emails saying that their accounts were overdrawn. Why? Because obviously checks were paid twice. Wells Fargo has apologized, said they've corrected the error internally, and they will certainly pay any customer fees that were related to having paid twice. And I know many people sometimes, Scott, are suspect of paying bills online, but I confess I've been watching. It's the first time I've seen that happen. Yeah, it doesn't, yeah, it's pretty rare, I'm sure. Exactly. So late news on IBM today. Yeah, and actually good news. IBM, it's really hard to believe, but IBM has had 23 consecutive quarters of declining revenue. Hmm. Today, after the close, they announced the revenue increase the first wow. time in six years. So wow. good for Big Blue. Nice to see it. Yeah, one of those stalwart. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Watch. All right. Richard, thanks so much for the update. You're welcome.